Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of Fallout 4 Mods. Sorry about no frost this week. I was in the woods. And we came home, and I looked at my phone, and who who called me? It was the forest. I had one missed call from the forest, and turns out there are fairies that live in the forest, and they call your phone. They used to leave messages by the front porch, but now it's modern, so they got they got to catch with the times. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get started. Crimson Katana by Crimson Rider. Katanas are always popping up on the Nexus, and this one has a unique personality by being compact and deadly. This katana is beautifully modeled and has one mod for increasing damage. Initial damage is 48, and with the upgrade you get up to 96 attack damage per swing. Ah, in my eyes. The Creation Club by C. Dante and King Tobe. A nice play on words and a sweet weapon, the Creation Club is a golf club with a variety of mods to take down your enemies. Included are 7 weapon mods, 8 paint types, and 4 levels which increase the probability to spawn objects during encounters. With each hit against an enemy, there's a chance an object, creature, or an NPC will be spawned during battle. Hence the name, the Creation Club. Stain Stew Pot by The Stain. New food item mods aren't released much, and this one shows why they should be. Included are 11 new foods with new meshes and textures. Foods can be made at any cooking station and include a variety of tasty treats. You get cider, parfaits, gum, mac and cheese, a Diamond City chili dog, and more. Chili dog. The stain is looking to improve the textures in the future, along with more items, and adding the items to merchant inventories. Woody's Wasteland Stuff by Woodylicious. With all the barrels in the Commonwealth, you'd think a smart hobo or two would invent one of these. This for show barrel and pipe accessories are located under Decorations Misc, and you can heat up or light up any dark area with some good old fashioned burnt paper fumes. Mmm, breathe them in. Quiet Robots by Mike773. Robot companions are great, but they're noisy as hell. This mod lowers the volume for Mr. Handys, Protectrons, Sentry Bots, Assaultrons, and Robo Brains. So whether they hate you or love you, they're gonna be a lot more quiet now. Rideable Deathclaw by Dumb Dogs World. Another rideable creature mod, this one lets you take control of a Deathclaw. Located near Vault 111, approach your steed and hit the activation key to get started on your never ending story. Come on, buddy, let's show the world what we've got. Press X to respond by Mr. Gimp21. It's stronger than humans. Why are you telling me all of this? Like the Press X to Sean mod we reviewed a few months back, now you can show the world how much you loathe it. Simply hit X to insult anyone in front of you, and your character will get to it. You don't look like you need another drink. Included are 120 custom voice lines for both male and female players to yell and tell others around you just what you're thinking. Nice, the two of us getting out there again. You're not really my type. Asshole. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. God damn it. Bother me. Legionary Assassins mod by Jero. The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Ready yourself for battle. Don't think I Everyone gets a little bit lonely, so why not have some visitors? Legionary Assassins brings the Legion back to the Commonwealth, and they're ready to fight. This will spawn the classic New Vegas four person assassin squad with the classic lines to go along with it. With optional files that allow Legion assassins to spawn at one hour, 30 minutes, or five minute intervals, you'll be able to meet some new friends and take them out on the ground too. We is my week. Shade Shotgun by X Your Mama X. A talking, heat seeking, soul eating shotgun, just weird enough to make this week's Weird Mod of the Week. The shotgun will talk when you take it out, fire, reload, and just about everything else. Daddy, come back. You will miss me. 10 out of 10 would bang again. There are a number of upgrades that will require human souls and skulls, which you can get from dead NPCs. Included are three receivers, four barrels, three stocks, three sights, and an option of either a bayonet, a head, or the skull flashlight. You'll also receive a scythe and a grenade that will paralyze enemies when it explodes. 
and with enough combat, a ring that resists fire damage, along with a full set of body armor, will be granted for you. The meshes and idea for this mod are great, I do wish the textures were a little bit more high resolution and not so stretched in certain areas, but besides that, cool idea and nice execution. Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for this week's Fallout 4 mods. If you have any suggestions... The Kaisar has marked you for dead! Yes! Tone it down, pal. You bother me. Pompous ass. Leave me alone. You're not really my type. 